welcome back to more unity we're doing another daily check in yes sir today i want to make shops spawn in rooms with doors make more weapons then i will make the shop an inconvenience that i might run into uh, with having the shop be a straightaway uh, spawn, I could get like potentially infinite. Like if you're just like so lucky, you could just get like a st like nine shops in a row. Um, what I can do is the shop within those rooms can have a script on it that detects if there's already other shops on the map and have it. To Delete itself if there's already too many. I feel like um, instead of a shop, you get a mini boss. That could be cool. So you can get a reward for free potentially if you are able to defeat it. This shop to the top and bottom, and it will add the left and right shop to the left and right. Bang! Look at that. That, that is kind of cool. So like I, I can show you if I I put the four-way room in the mix in just one of the mixes, you can see that we start to get some pretty interesting generation. Oh yeah, like that. That is so many rooms. Oh shit. Oh my god. It won't break unless it spawns. Infinite! Oh my god, it's still going! <laughs> oh my god, look at that! Is it still go- okay. Wow, look at that, that's funny. The smallest map. Okay, so the timer is up. And... What do I have to show? Well... A few things, actually. I have made it so the shops... Whoa, that's funny. I'm mean, gonna the shop spawn on these straightaways. And now there's still some stuff to fix. The shops are kinda big. Are not supposed to look like this, of course, but it's fine for now. And I will also be making sure that we don't, you can't get this many shops in one dungeon. If I plan on removing shops because there's too many then I could probably make it so a mini boss spawns in their place when that shop is removed. And that could be pretty awesome. I have made some new weapons. Nothing too crazy. As I said, I just wanted to make some basic weapons. So we got pistols, we got rifles, we got launchers, we got shotguns, and we got SMG. And they all have their, uh, the between five rarities. The common is severely weaker. Than the legendary counterpart as you can see here not only does it shoot stupid faster like it would also it would already be out dpsing the normal one even if it just shot as fast and not had this extra damage but it also has extra damage so oh hey look there's the boss over there i did not get time for fix the no. But what I might do is just set up another time set up another timer and keep working because I kind of feel like doing that. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, great. I think that should work. Uh right, shotgun thing. Right, okay, so this would be RNG common weapon spawn. Yes. Yes, okay now now we're progressing. So all we gotta do now is uh, chuck in the commons. So pistol common, bang. Rifle common, bang. I think it would be cool if um, some weapons only appear in legendary or epic. Like the dual rifle is really is supposed to be like really good, and so. I'm thinking like it should only be able to spawn as a legendary or an epic so you get it less often and this will have to be the 
Uncommon weapon spawn. And finally, the legendary spawner. Great. I'll add another folder called like weapon spawners. You know, I'll probably honestly just keep going. I think I'll create multiple folders, which I'll call by Verity. So we have this is just gonna be good. So I just have this ready. Even though I'm not making this in the, into the shop right now, I will shortly. So then I would not randomize the class and make the the random int zero. No. Yeah, the random int zero. This is this is what gonna be the new shops. Um, these are you know obviously only. Very, I'm, I'm just testing these out right now, so this is not what it's going to be, but what we got right now is, you know, it, it costs zero, so I can test it, but whenever we buy a, a gun here, well, we're getting really lucky. Uh, okay, no, no. What these shops are is they specifically sell you a pistol of a random rarity. And I intend on doing the same with multiple things. I'll show you here. Random pistol, random rarity. So you'll get any of the pistols and any of the rarity. Um, we made all these different weapons. These are just the same five. Like five. All these five are the same gun, but different stats. And in here is where we where I spent a lot of time. I made a bunch of different types of spawners and these are primarily for the shop now this is probably a much better way of doing this i'm gonna be honest but uh <laughs> this, this is how i did it and we'll see what happens i'm probably not gonna go too crazy on the weapons because they're all still very um you know not very developed and that's mostly it I once come in to check in. So this is probably a good lore dump for all of you that's interested. This uh, game right now is actually called Every Second Count, if you haven't noticed. And that's because I was intending on this game being like, you play through the levels, right? And then, you know, every second the enemies get stronger. So you, you, you gotta be quick, you can't just be super slow. Oh, this room doesn't have a roof. But the, idea, the, bas the basic idea was, that means we just grow stronger by the second. This room also doesn't have a roof. What? And I got an idea recently where I should make it so after you kill the boss, the, the, like, the world doesn't reset, like reloads. So you'll keep your guns, but you'll just run through it again. Right bottom does not have a roof, wow. Oh. After you kill the boss, the world reloads. Are we? Wow, we're getting no enemies. No enemies? Oh. Something I also want to bring in soon is VFX. And I know there is some Unity shader graph, which could be pretty cool. So I'm going to try and look into that at some point. Hopefully I can learn it. Maybe I'll try to learn it for a for a day. Something that I didn't even notice that I had uh, done in my game it is well I, I obviously knew I had bullet spread, right? Uh, but what I wasn't sure of is if you would have if there was bullet spread uh, when you only had um, when you're only shooting one bullet at a time. I was like when you're shooting multiple bullets, obviously it should it should be bullet spread, you know. Uh, but surprisingly, you can't. It, there actually is bullet spread, and it's only when you're shooting more than two, where well, there's always a fully accurate bullet. But it is pretty nice to have, and I will probably keep it that way. So the thing is, with this, I I really did wanna um, showcase uh, how I go about doing this stuff. You know, whilst I'm doing it, like, oh, how I'm thinking, like, oh, I'm gonna do this and that, and why I'm doing it. Just to really, like, let you know 
my thoughts about this. Like, the, I don't know. There would, there would be so much footage to edit if I record every second of this. And I know that's just an excuse, like, right here. But if anybody really wants me to go in depth about anything I do here, let me know. And I'd, I'd be, uh, I'd, I'd make sure to do so. And I could go on for days about what I'm doing, what certain things do what, you know. So, uh, I think my unity froze. Just as I was almost, I almost got done with it. I've been spending more, more time than I should have, but like. Yeah, uh, my unity froze. So, that sucks. <laughs> well, time to just pray that we didn't lose too much progress. In the looks of things, I don't know if we even lost anything. But this thing spawns a weapon. And I want this spawned weapon to be here. I just want it to work on its own. And as you can see, it doesn't show up here instantly. But after this timer hits, whatever then it shows up here but it's bad that it's showing up so late and it's not because of timer timer is just checking again whether or not we know if this exists and that i think i know why it doesn't appear immediately it's because well we spawn a thing and then we set spawn thing to whatever we spawn spawn thing two becomes the com it component of spawn thing and what spawn one thing has a thing called what's bond and that's that's the item we're trying to copy here and then when spawn thing 2 isn't null we will do this get to the component adjust weapon component turn off components so whenever that weapon spawns so like it can be like as a preview you can look at it and be like oh that's the gun I'm buying you, you can't just press E on it and then take the gun for free we turn off those components that allow you to pick it up and then we use debug log so we know what name it is it's for funsies oh oh yes this stuff is now a part of this shop good that's what we want we want it to become a child of this shop a, a child is is what you call it when object is attached to another in case you didn't know uh, and then after we've set it as a child we also turn off the animator just in case turn off gun shoot uh, yeah and it also turns off pickup pistol this one we don't and on this pickup pistol um is because i think that's the reason why it's crashed because i was trying to check if shop I, I, I was running that function like a billion times I went through all this headache just purely to spawn the item so we get a preview of it. But really what I could just do is in the shop buy script, I could have a thing called uh, preview preview weapon. Or I could add a bool called preview weapon and then have the, the thing be spawned once and then from the shop script turn them off. I wasn't actually planning on going for two hours today but I guess we are now. That's good. Actually, now that I think about it, I think we're fine. If I'm not mistaken, this this is this is done. Why is the info about gun off? Please tell me this is it. Come on. No. Why is it turned off? Come on. This could be it. Nope. Is it really just that easy? Is that really Oh my god, that might have just been what I needed to do. No. Still, still no. Come on. Please. Yes. Yes, dude. This was day nine. And with that, I hope you are still enjoying the series. Or this might still be the second video or the third i'm not sure this was day nine and uh yeah i would i would, appre I would much appreciate a nice comment I would, it would make me very happy next clip starts now all right welcome back to some more unity stuff 
so today's subject, shop. Still, we're still on the shop chapter. After the sh the, the, sh the shop works fully, I might wanna get some perks. Being good, I, I might do more than one hour, but we'll see. Timer is pop. Timer is up. Now, what I was just doing was finishing up the some perks. This adds one damage, and yeah, we're doing twenty-one. Now, if we get this next one, we should be doing twenty-four. Yes. And then 28. I don't know why the, the rifle isn't getting buffed, but oh well. Okay, great. So we now have a perk shop and a gun shop. The reason I have that one hour timer at the start is just, it keeps me, it, it makes it easier for me to track time. Damage up increases damage to your weapon, your, oh, or wait, no. Made perk shop, you can now buy two perks. Damage up increases damage to weapon you're holding. Damage multi up increases damage multiplier to weapon you're holding. Weapon shop works pretty good now, but you uh, need to add a few more things to it. Starter shop will let you choose between three weapons randomly generated, mostly common, with a very low chance of a legendary for some. Fix the damage multi perk, so it should work as intended now, but might fix later again, who knows. It's probably, there was also more probably more things, but I like not writing down the you know the most important. So and with that, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for still being here, and uh, yeah, much love. It's about that time again where I have to crank some nineties. Uh, so the, so the biggest revelation. I mean, we have this. We have all the guns here. Uh, I also had to give them a, all the guns have a new script called adjust weapon components. This is important for shops. If we go to shop things, there's a thing called buy not random shop. And what this does is it will, not only will it, you know, spawn any gun for you, but you will also, you know, see what they're buying. Because that's kind of the main issue. Like, I, I want the shop to be able to tell you, oh, here, the, hey, there, here's the gun you're buying, by the way. But uh, also, you know. You get to see what it is. Also, I fixed the starter shop. The starter shop is great. Uh, instead of, you know, having three set weapons, uh, it's uh, three random weapons, but you only get to pick one. And uh, they, they randomize between all weapons that are common. So you can, you, you can get any weapon that's common. That's what you get to start with. But well, one funny thing I did is, um, like, like, I just replaced the, like, the thing that decides what rarity it is, I replaced all of them with the common. Except for one, the legendary. So, if you're lucky enough, you can get a legendary in your starting shop, in your, as your starter weapon. But then again, like, if when I actually publish the game, I wonder if I should keep this in. So like, people who speedrun my game, they have to reset until they start with a legendary. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You can refresh the shop. I mean, uh, yeah, that doesn't sound bad. Just, just pay to refresh the shop. Oh! oh! Look at that. Would want it. Uh, especially, it's not what I want it to be when it's spawning one of the shops inside one another. That's absolutely hilarious. Okay, what, what if I just do that? Delete, copy, paste, save. Like every perk, I'm probably gonna have to enter a description manually. Where for the, all the guns, I don't have to enter in the stats manually. This is where we get to that script that I added to all the guns, adjust weapon components. And we run a function called turn off components in that. Now, what does the... What does this uh, Arafakis do? Well, or, or, or what it does, I mean. All weapons have a pickup thing, which has the hitbox that you look at and then you can pick it up. And in, in within this script, it tells the, uh, it sets pickup thing in that side of that script to this. So that's how we have, that's how we know what the pickup thing is. Because we can't really search for tag because all the guns do this, so we can't really set, give it a custom tag. 
I also, you know, obviously don't want to do this manually. I don't want to input it manually. Hell no. Hey, right, legendary. What the f you mean legendary common rocket launcher? <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how I'm gonna make the the name be inputted on its own. Like every weapon has a float, and it's between zero and four. If I set it to three, then it'll it'll add epic to here. Okay, so <clears throat> what I just did was I made some more perks. Uh, shop options, but we have random rarity now. But we can also get the specific thing, so it, it'll just, you know, get a random perk, any perk in the game, and then I'll display the info here. Uh, but then there's also one more, one more option that can spawn in the perk shop, and that is the random perk, but you know what rarity it's gonna be. So let's check this out. How this works? Okay. Interesting. That is not what we wanted. Okay, that's kind of whack. Oh, and but okay, why? Yes. No. Oh, it actually, it actually does work. I don't know why the value is so weird. Like, like why is the value so weird? Like, surely if you you know, divide 1 by 1.05, you would just get 0 0.95, no? Well, it does stack, so that's great. 50% fire rate. Great, okay, so now let's just add this to the... to the loot pool. Let's get this upgrade. Great, upgrades work. Great. Dude, we're, 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 we're good. You can pick this up that already has insane fire rate and then like give it even crazier fire rate. <laughs> That's day 11. Great. And then I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's great. Day 11. Awesome. That's going to do it for this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Alright, so this is going to be a short update, uh, I didn't feel like doing too much. However, this is a quite important piece of the puzzle. Uh, I imported some VFX, check it out. So we, we just have this really cool, like this actually looks sick. I, I don't know, it, it actually feels awesome. Uh, I love it. Uh, it. There are some still some weird things with like shooting and such, like if you, when you're walking, you know, the bullets might like go weird when you're like strafing. Uh, but like now it works pretty well. Uh, I mean, it'll be a little bit annoying, a, a little tedious applying all this to every bullet and such. But like I don't know, it, it, it's manageable. These effects are really cool. I, uh, I I'll, I'll probably like put the link to the guy who made them, uh, YouTube channel because he's really cool. He makes some good stuff, and I would love to learn how to use the shader graph or even the particle system more. Added a VFX or projectile, so now I can begin adding more VFX. So that is gonna be day 12. So I'll see you in the next clip. My shot. Alright, welcome back to more Unity. We're gonna be implementing reloading. Uh, I only got an hour today because I. I don't know, I was lazy today. So I think I'm gonna be making the. The ammo system somewhat similar to the one in the <coughs> Enter the Gungeon because that seems easy. Like just have you you can find ammo boxes. Uh, and every gun has their own ammo. Uh, actually I don't know when, but recently I thought of a really cool idea uh, for a wet type of weapon. Instead of it using you know regular ammo, it could be battery charged. So it could be like maybe stronger than normal, and then stronger than average it'll have battery life so as soon as you pick it up it'll start running low running down or maybe it, won't, oh, it only runs down once you're shooting but then to like actually reload it to like make it get it up and running again you gotta do something I, I don't know what that could be that could be like anything from you gotta get out you gotta get the hell out of the dungeon and go to like a recharge station somewhere in the map or just you know you can bring a battery with you and just charge it like that Okay, so here I have made a simple ammo and reload script, or not script, but I've added it to the weapon script. 
So let's see if it works. Oh, interesting. It actually seems to... Decrease the ammo. Right, that doesn't make sense. We're shooting... I don't have any way to showcase the amount of bullets. But you'll see that it'll stop firing. Like, I'm constantly holding down left click. It automatically reloads. I, I, I will also add it so you can reload on your own, but... Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Great. Okay, th th that's pretty cool. That that's good. As many as it takes to empty this magazine. You see, we got ammo. You know how much ammo you have now in this gun. And once you reach... However, when I get to zero, I can't shoot. And it, there's a reloading thing. It also says reloading. Should I keep that? <laughs> reloading. Uh, however, this only works for this gun right now because I need to apply uh, reload time and um, uh, ammo capacity for every gun now. But at least we have that now. Also, look, it's really cool because this gun shoots that projectile and we shoot multiple sometimes. This is amazing. Yeah, let's get some fire upgrades. <laughs> We just empty a mag like that. <laughs> I'm shooting so many. You wait two seconds to reload and then like... <laughs> this does make the game feel a lot better though, having this reloading. Like it actually does. It's starting to feel like an actual game now, you know? I, I guess I'll do that one more thing. Oh, right. Okay, so... This is just reloading ammo. The weapons don't... The weapons still have infinite ammo. Um, that's another thing I gotta do. This is exciting. This this is progress. This is very progress. Gun has decided to stop working. Oh, look at that. All right, so we cannot we cannot manually reload. Or oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or oh, wait, no, that's wrong. Because if you shoot so you have 20 bullets left and then you reload manually you should get 20 bullets put back into your uh, ammo count that you have right now you're getting 10 okay so i need to change something here okay so we can all see that great i'm just gonna make one more thing where it actually deducts from ammo reserved That is literally all we gotta do. <laughs> Just one tiny little line of code. Still don't know why that's happening, but yeah. So there we go. If ammo is less than ammo capacity, we will just have it... Minus itself. What? Wait, 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 hold up. They must have- oh my god, it's- it spawned a shop in the spawn area. I've never seen this before. Well, that's not right at all. Oh well, I, 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 gotta, I gotta test this, so... Okay, well that did set ammo reserved correctly. Oh, yeah. All right, I think I got it to work very decently well now. Check it out. And then when we reload, it will be reloading to how much we had in the reserves because we had less than 30. And then after we, you know, run out of ammo. <laughs> like it starts the reload timer and then when you find out you have zero it's just like no ammo sad <laughs> i don't know why that's so funny but that's really funny so there you have it folks uh the worst reloading system script ever um i will say though i am very inexperienced in this so i i just don't know any better so there you have it Added reloading, plus ammo, plus ammo capacity, and such. Added UI for ammo and such. Really good. Yay! Alright. <clears throat> Welcome back to more Unity.
I didn't. I did do something off camera. Not nothing much though. I just changed the bullet to that. It is effect instead. All right. So there you have it. I have. I am done for the day. Uh, what I did was, I, I simply just made the platform visible so the shops look like that. Uh, but what I did, the main thing was <clears throat> change up the info text. So now you can see magazine size and max ammo of the gun and all, as well as reload speed. I also changed to fire rate in seconds because I'm pretty sure that is, I mean I know I made it but I'm fairly confident that, that how that's being calculated is in seconds. So you get seven such seven shots a second. And if we look at some of these other guns, you can see max magazine size one, maximum of thirty. Look at that. Okay, is magazine size and max ammo capacity. Small fix to show. To make them look. Hope you enjoyed. Or uh, my shot. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. Here are some of the noteworthy things we did this week. On day 8, we made a shop spawn in straightaway rooms. And we made 5 weapons with all their own unique rarities. On day 9, we made shops even better, almost fully functional. Now, in the shops preview exactly what weapon you would buy. On day 10, we made a perk shop. You can now buy 2 perks, damage up and damage multi up. Starter shop will let you choose between three weapons randomly generated, mostly common, with a very low chance of a legendary for fun. On day 11, we made a new perk, Fire Up, increases fire rate of gun. On day 12, we added VFX to a projectile, so I can begin adding more VFX from awesomeness. On day 13, we added reloading and ammo capacity and such. On day 14, we improved the info text and fixed up the shop. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a nice comment, it would mean the world to me. It would genuinely make me very happy. Much love and don't forget to take care.